Hey. Hello, so you have gathered us in the workshop. I've gathered us for a new challenge for Russell. For me. <laughs> if you are a woodworker, you know that the scrap wood pile is piles up. Valuable of treasures. <laughs> Never to be thrown away, ever. We're not throwing them away. No. I am finding good <laughs> new uses for that pile of scrap wood. Fair enough, fair enough. I was planning to use his scrap wood pile to make a couple of things, but since I'm going to be away, I'm now getting Russell to make those things for me. Because you're going to be away, I get to play <laughs> all day. And then I'm going to inspect how well he does. This is the first project I want you to make. I can't make towels. Well, you're not making the towels. You're making the towel rack. Oh, okay. I mean, there's nothing better than a good rack. Can I use that joke in every video? <laughs> Project two is really, really, really easy. Okay. I just want something simple and minimal for the counter. That's this, nice. This is what I want you to make. That's simple. Yeah, it's a pretty simple design. It's really easy. I can get a look really nice. $124? <laughs> It's handmade. It's probably nice wood. By like monks in Nepal with... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, those are your two projects. Okay, I mean... You can do that. That's doable. That's easy. I'll just have to buy a lathe for the one and then... No, we're... you're fine. <laughs> Good luck to Russell. He is on his own now. You guys can suffer through his bad jokes. <laughs> I... Bad jokes? <laughs> I'm out of here. Rude. <laughs> Well, I, uh, the projects that Lindy actually showed me, I think are fairly simple. And as long as I don't rustle -fy them and make them overly complicated, they should go pretty quick. I scavenged my wood pile and I found some scrap wood. So this stuff is all wood from Trim when we demoed the basement. This is an old maple um, piano bench top from when we turned a piano stool into a coffee table. This I can cut apart and laminate into some nice maple blocks because maple, I think it's gonna look nice. So this will be perfect if it works in my head for the towel rack holder. And these boards I think could be like the edges um, and then the tray for the fruit bowl. So. First step is to clean all these up. I'm gonna do a quick pass through these through the planer just because that will be a lot easier than sanding it all and it will get it nice and cleaned up. The little towel rack, I'm not sure I'm gonna have to stack this wood. So I'm gonna laminate them into strips like this and then I'll build up the height because I think the height should it be either three or four. I am letting the glue dry over there on the other pieces for the towel rack. Um, I'm gonna work on the little fruit box. So we have this guy all planed down. Um, I'm gonna just clean up these two edges. What I'm planning is to cut 10 inches and 10 inches, and that's gonna make the little V bottom. And then this I have on the side here to uh, make the ends. And I just have to kind of see what this looks like and then I can do this and I think I'll just cut this board in half and we should be pretty much bang on. I want this to be narrower because I think, so then these should probably come down to like, let's do four and a half and we will see how that looks. I can always cut off more, but I can't add, well you can, but it's way more work, so. So what is that? 10 inches. A 
there's like a little taper on the edge of the board. So I'm just trying to see what looks right. Maybe it is 10 degrees. And then I'm gonna have to make these inside boards a little bit shorter. These pieces are all glued together, so we are gonna just run them through the planer so that I can glue them like this and that they have a nice flat surface to bond to. What I thought was gonna be the easiest project actually has given me the biggest run for my money. Um, so we wanna make this, um, but it took a little bit to get here. So to start off, I found this, um, it's actually a leftover piece of curtain rod, and I'm gonna use this for the rod that goes into the block. What I had an issue with was drilling this hole straight and true. Um, you can see here, I went off on an angle, went off on an angle, um, this one doesn't look as bad, but it still projected the rod out. I finally kind of came up with a system and I got this one to work really well. These are just my test blocks because I only have this much maple. So I made this little jig and then I found a Fostner bit worked the best if I started a 45 on each end. And then that gave me a nice true hole. So hopefully I can make these work. Worst case scenario, they get made out of pine, but um, I will show you guys how I made them. Boop. Boop. You can see here, I didn't line it up properly, so it's not nicely through. Um, the other one though is bang on. So we have a maple and a pine block. So to get two, I had to make five. So this goes in like so, and then that holds, oops your towels, and then this will just get screwed to the wall. Oh, hey, I don't think you probably can guess what I made. <laughs> I Is really... it the things I asked you to make? <laughs> yeah, all right, yes. <laughs> well, I did a really good job of hiding them is what I was trying to get at. Oh. Okay, ready? Dun, dun, dun. Three, two, one. Pachoo! Ooh. And then you can put this on here, like that. They look good. Guess how much this all cost? Um, zero dollars. Correct. <laughs> These scrap wood projects pay. These I thought were gonna be the simplest and they were the worst. So the way that works is just, just slides in Ooh. and then you screw it onto the wall and wow. then it slides in. Will it withstand? Our children yes. washing their hands aggressively. I mean, the towel will still fall off every time, <laughs> but the, the... Cool, they look good. Now we just have to hang them in the bathroom. Yeah. Or now or... we have to renovate a bathroom. I'll go with just hang it in the bathroom for... <laughs> for now. <laughs> now. 
And this too. looks good. Yeah, that was really easy actually. That anyone can make. Yes. And now we have something for all of our little counter fruits. And then I used the cutting board wax so it's food safe. Nice. Good call. Yeah, so. Oh, they turned out good. I'm good really job. happy with it. Um, I think it turned out really cool. Now I know I can give you loads of lists of things. Well, I'm all out of scrap wood probably now. And you now. can keep making stuff. I'm probably all out of scrap wood. What about wood. that bin right there? That's different. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below if you want to see Russell attempt to make things I tell him to make or again. If you have any ideas what I can make? Yeah, if you have good scrap wood ideas, let us know in the comments. And if those projects require special tools for me to buy in order to make Lindy things, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more great, affordable, budget-friendly DIYs. Thank you all so much for watching. See you next time.